Hello and welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at Bitcoin. Let's get into the price action. So what we were talking about yesterday is basically a couple of things here within the structures. We're still looking for that potential to continue to the upside where we're looking at this move rather as a one, two here, looking for this as a third wave, looking for that fourth wave down and then looking for this fifth wave up towards the zone of this 31,000. 810 to this 31,306 area. So this is still viable and I am still going to continue to look for this as long as we hold this zone of this 29,358. Once we start to break down below this 29,358, it becomes less likely that we are going to have this as a fifth wave to the upside here. And then we would have to be looking at the possibility that instead we have something like this as another one and a two. And then we could look to push to the upside. So we'll go over support zones for that um, in a second. But what I'm looking for now is to see whether we can maintain this zone here. So what I was looking for in the previous uh, video is we were looking at a couple of things. So I just want to talk about some things which um which have been validated here. We we're looking for that direct push to the upside, but we actually came down below this line here and uh, obviously crossed the beginning of this move. So this is no longer valid. So I just want to get rid of that. And this is what we were talking about as the alternative in the shorter term. So we're looking for this potential to come back down here towards this 29.530. And it is possible that we still have a little bit more to go here. Looking at the structure, I would be looking at this potentially, um, you know, as a one, two, three. Looking at this as a fourth and then looking for that fifth wave to the downside. So it is possible that we could see some kind of a truncation here. So we need to be a little bit careful. But if we do still have a little bit more downside on this move, um, what I would be looking for here is basically a move down towards this zone here of this 2965 to this 2951, uh, 29519. Basically, this would bring us into this zone of this one to one. But we have already come down to the 0 0.382. So we're going to have to just monitor this move and see whether we start to move away from it. If we do move back up past this 30,177 30, area, basically what we'd be then looking for is evidence that, you know, this is a completed move here. So how the evidence for that would really come by this move now developing as a five-wave structure to the upside. If we fail to take this high here, of this 30,558, I would be a little bit concerned about that potential for extension to the downside. If we um, just come back up to this level, we could face further rejection and this could turn into a bigger move. So we'll go over that as well in a second. But really what we wanna see now, if we are completed here, is this to form a one, two here, you know, get a three, four, and then a five up into these, up into these higher areas. But the move to the upside currently is just looking Corrective. Uh, I mean, on the smaller time frame, let's have a look. Yeah, it just looks corrective to the upside at the moment. So I would be anticipating this move coming down a little bit more um, and potentially heading down towards this lower range here of this 29656 to this 29519. That would be my primary expectation here. But obviously, that would be as long as we stay below this 30,194. Otherwise, we could potentially. Be looking to um you know have a move to the upside on this fifth wave here it's up into this zone of this 31,810 to this 30, 31,306 area so yeah i mean really for more confirmation that we are within a five wave structure up i'd want to see a move up here potentially towards this zone again um of this 30,389 and then we'd want to see something like this play out, where we see this as a one, two, get a third wave up here, find support again, have a fifth wave, then see a three wave move down, and then basically have a third, fourth, and a fifth after that. So we'd be setting these higher lows here and continuing this pattern to the upside. If we fail to do that, um, you know, potentially, like I said, we could come down one more time here, looking at these internals. Um, we could head down towards this 29656 to this 29519. Really, until we cross this 29358, there is still that potential for the fifth wave here to the upside. So that would be what we're looking for um, within that count there. If we want to, um, if we're saying that potentially we could have something else going on here, what I would next be looking out for is if we do lose this 29353 area, I'd be looking at this lower yellow support box here 
where between this 29,353 to this 28,454, uh, yeah, 454 area, where we could look at this rather as a completed move and then looking for that potential of extension again to the upside, where we look for that possibility of having a wave two here. So if we drop down deeper below this 29,353, potentially down towards you know some of these lower areas here. Uh, the 0.618 would be this 28.979, which would be coming back into these higher ranges here. But really, this 786 would be a retest of this level at this 28.454. So if we do hold this zone, you know, potentially we can look for continuation to the upside here. But we need to be careful. If we start to break down and we lose this 28.454, it becomes less likely we're going to see that continuation up here for a bigger five wave move in this instance. Um, so the primary, the primary, um, you know, support range I'm looking for as a fourth wave is this 29.353 to the 30,211 range. We've come down to that 382. So now we're waiting to see if we get a reaction. If we don't get a reaction, this lower support box range will be the one I'm looking at. But what we need to be careful of, and we've discussed this a few times now within these videos, um, is the potential that within here we could see something like this play out as a um, as a flat correction to the downside. Looking at this whole move as a bigger flat, so we could be actually setting up for a bigger C wave here, um, slowly forming those ones and twos ready to you know form this five wave structure to the downside. We don't have any confirmation of that. And really, once we start to break back above these zones here of this 30,604 and this high of this um of this 31,000, it would invalidate that potential any and we would have to then uh, you know argue that we are we're not following this count if we're looking for that, you know, that C wave to the downside. Once we start to break these levels, it becomes uh yeah, impossible for it to be a five wave move. But what we'd be looking out for, so this is just something we're keeping on the back burner here, looking out for a move potentially down towards this 28, um, 28965. If we move down towards this zone, basically we would be looking for a five wave move within here. Um, it's possible that we could, you know drag this wave two over here and uh, we could be in the middle of this wave three but we haven't come down deep enough here so what we want to see is if we do form a five wave move to the downside here and I'm just going to go off of um, off of this target zone that we had here if we do form a five wave move to the downside here like this and we end up around this zone here of this uh, 29604 what we could then see is you know a retracement to the upside failing to break back above this 30,341, uh, 344, and then seeing something like this, where this becomes another one, two, and we get a bigger third wave to the downside, fourth wave, fifth wave, and this could then take us down towards these zones that we're looking for here for this 29,000, uh, 28,965 area. So this is what we've got to be careful of. You know, as long as we have some um, impulsive structure down here, we need to just be cautious that it doesn't develop into something bigger. We want to start to see, you know, five wave structure to the upside forming. For as long as we just get three wave moves up, we can all, we can continue to look to, um, you know, progress down within this structure and look to potentially even come down and start to form, you know, some of these bigger five wave moves that we've been talking about. That C wave, like we've discussed previously, you know, that could bring us back down here into, into some of these key lows uh, towards this 27,583 and this uh, 26,504, 508. But um, if it does extend out deeper, potentially we could even move down as deep as this 25,200. We don't have confirmation of it yet. And, you know, we're still holding support. So we need to see how that plays out. But it is a possibility. So we just need to keep it, uh, you know, there in the back, just keeping an eye on it and seeing whether it does become anything more at that point. So, you know, really what we want to see here is uh, is having a direct push up here. We were we were also talking about this. I mean, this is still vi this is still viable really for as long as we hold this low, which is um this 29,636. As long as we hold that, there is still potential to have this direct push to the upside here where this becomes a one, two, three, four, five up into these highs. But uh I think the most likely thing, in my opinion, if we are looking at this structure, is basically looking at that, um, you know, that potential that we are actually 
forming this fourth wave, looking for this fifth wave to be upside, and uh, we want to see this sort of play out. It's becoming proportional in size now, these two structures. Like I said, I'm a bit iffy about this one still, so that's why I'm just being cautious of that more bearish option where either we have start to have a direct sell-off here or we have, you know, a bigger retracement to come here where this becomes, or it could even just become, this becomes A, we get a B wave up and we get a C wave to the downside, you know, looking for those, um, for those lower target ranges of the, of this 29353 to this 28454. So this is going to be our key zone lower down here. We've obviously got a higher support zone. We need to see these maintain. For as long as they maintain, we can look for that bullish potential. If they break, then uh, yeah, we just need to be aware on how the structure is forming and uh, where we could be going. Losing 27800 is going to obviously invalidate this potential of having an extension here. And uh, yeah, at that point, we'd have to be a bit careful within this count. Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. Leave us some feedback down below, and also in the description, you'll find a link to Discord. Come check it out, it's free to join. Everyone, have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.